Hello everyone, my name is Paper Napkin, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red. In the last episode, we battled our way through Route 3 and we made it to the entrance of Mount Moon, uh, where unfortunately the first Pokemon I encountered was a Zubat, and even more unfortunate was that I killed it. Um, from now on, I'm going to be using Repels just because I don't want to have to deal with the constant onslaught of fighting Zubats. I know a lot of people that played through the original games absolutely hated it. I, for one, am one of them. Uh, Mount Moon has a lot of items scattered along the way. Uh, I don't intend to get them all, just the ones that I see as I go through. Uh, TM09 is Bullet Seed. It's a Grass-type move. Um, it's an okay Grass-type move. It's, it's definitely useful when you're first starting out, especially if you didn't choose Bulbasaur as your first Pokemon. Um, hopefully, if things go well, I'll be able to use it in the near future. Um, yeah, sure, let's battle her. She's waiting for her friends to find her here. That's a little weird. Why would you wait for your friends inside of a cave? Unless you're really ugly. Anyways, uh, this Pokemon trainer has a Clefairy, which is a new Pokemon we haven't really seen along the way. Uh, Clefairies are okay, I guess. They're a normal type Pokemon. Um, they're a little bit defensively bulky, but in terms of attack, they don't have too much. Um, I really like using them just because they know how to use Sing, so you can put Pokemon to sleep. And they also have Metronome, which lets you use a random Pokemon attack each time you use it. Uh, you probably noticed that I skipped over one of the traders. Oh yeah, I forgot, I can run. Those running shoes. Use the running shoes paper. Everyone's screaming at their screen. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I'm not going to be fighting all the Pokemon trainers in here, just because, um, I guess I'll fight him, part of the story. Uh, just because Hope is getting to the point where she is severely overleveled, um, she's making quick work of Pokemon using one attack, two attacks, and it's it's not really what I intended for this Let's Play. I wanted it to be difficult, which it has, but I also wanted it to, to feature a lot of Pokemon that people normally wouldn't use, uh, especially Pokemon that I normally wouldn't use. So I'm just gonna you know choose my battles until I catch some more Pokemon. Um, this Pokemon Trainer is a member of Team Rocket, the so-called bad guys of this game. Um, they consider themselves gangsters, even though they're not really gangsters. I mean, if you're using a Sandshrew and, what else, a Rattata, I bet. Yes, a Rattata. And I think probably a Zubat as well. These guys are really well known for having like the shittiest Pokemon ever, um, which kind of, you know, detracts from their gangster image. Uh, you know, I'm expecting them to pull out really cool Pokemon like Growlithe, you know, Ekans, Coughing, like they used to in the anime, but nope. I'm guessing Zubat is kind of cool looking, a little intimidating, but really they're shit weak. Um, they give decent money, which is always a bonus. But over here we have a Star Piece. Um, I actually don't know too much about this item, just because it's pretty new, I guess. Um, I'm assuming there's no real purpose to it except that you sell it for money, kind of like the nugget used to be. Yeah, we'll go with that. If I'm wrong, you know, always feel free to leave a comment in the post and be like, Oh, paper, paper, you're an idiot. Don't you know this is what the item's for? Um, down here we have a Pokemon nerd, which I'm going to try to avoid, yes. Just because they tend to use electric and steel type Pokemon which are kind of my weakness right now, since I only have hope. Oh yeah, okay, phew, made it. Um, yeah. And here we find a rare candy. This is probably the best item in the game, just because it directly raises your Pokemon's level by one every time you use it. Uh, there's only a few scattered across the game, uh, unless you do the missing number trick back in uh, Pokemon Red and Blue, but I won't talk about that too much. Uh, maybe later, if I ever get to that point. But uh, I'm not going to use it just yet, I'm going to save it until later on in the game when I can actually uh, benefit greatly from it, because right now there's no point. Leveling up is uh, pretty straightforward, it doesn't take a whole lot. I reapply my repel, and we'll go down here, and I keep forgetting I can run now. It's so strange, they like let you play through, oh what am I doing? They let you play through uh, quite a bit of the game without giving you the running shoes, and then you get them, and then, I don't know, I always forget to use them. 
Uh, here we have TM46, which is Thief. I don't really know too much about it. Uh, I've never used it before. I'm assuming it lets you steal the item that the Pokemon you're fighting is holding, but uh, don't hold me to that. And as you can see, I found an Ether there. It was hidden. Um, oh, there's a... What the hell? Tiny Mushroom. Uh, there's hidden items everywhere, apparently. Um, I don't know the location of a lot of them, uh, just because I haven't really bothered looking up where they are. I don't really want to. It kind of takes away from the game. I know in Pokemon Red, there were a couple hidden items, and I would be able to find most of them. Uh, I'm sure there's a ton more now in Fire Red. I know there used to be like a shitload in Platinum and Diamond and Pearl and whatnot. Uh, here we found a Moonstone. This is a key item that which we can use to uh, evolve certain type of Pokemon. Uh, Clefairy, uh, Jigglypuff, Nidorino, Nidorina are a couple of other Pokemon that fall in this category. Uh, let's see what we have here. Revive! Uh, normally this will let you revive a Pokemon that's fainted. Uh, I'm not going to be using them in this Let's Play, obviously, so I'm just going to sell it next time I get to a Pokemart. I'm running out of repels. I hope I can get out of here in time. And we have another Team Rocket Trainer, and I make it past him. All right, all right. I'm like a ninja. Whoa, 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 yeah. And if you just make our way along this winding path here, oh, look at that. I'm staring into the abyss. It's kind of unsettling, don't you think? Hello, hello, hello. Anyways, um, yeah. Here we have oh. An ob obligatory, oh my goodness, I'm stuttering now. An obligatory battle with a Team Rocket member. Um, no surprise, he's using the same kind of Pokemon as before. Maybe either a Rattata, a Zubat, maybe a Sandshrew. Uh, and I kind of noticed that, you know, in the red version and blue version, oh, Hyper Fang. Shit. Don't do it. Oh, that's not too bad. Um, they tended to use only, you know, Rattata and Zubat. I think Sandshrew is a recent addition in this version, just because, well, you know, Rattata and Zubat are pretty shitty. Which is kind of sad, because, you know, I always used to like Sandshrew. Uh, I remember when I first started playing Pokemon, I had the red version, so I didn't have access to Sandshrew. I mean, I could see other trainers using it, but I couldn't actually catch one myself. So uh, I had to wait until one of my friends picked up uh, the blue version. Oh, whoops, forgot to apply a repel. Oh, oh, it is a Geodude. I wish I would have been able to catch this, but alas, I can't. I'm just gonna run. I'm not gonna put you guys through more of that. Any items? And Oh, another Moonstone. Did not know about that, but that's good to have. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, so I got my friend to trade me uh, a Sandshrew, and I was all excited. I leveled up Sand Slash, and uh, it turns out to be uh, pretty much a bust for me. I didn't really enjoy using Sand Slash. Uh, I don't know why. I know a lot of people use it nowadays sometimes in metagame, which isn't too bad. Um, anyways, this Pokemon Trainer has a Grimer. Um, these are physically defensive Pokemon. They don't do a whole lot of damage, as you can see. Um, they're Poison-type. They have a lot of Poison-type moves, as you would expect. Um, they're really good at poisoning your Pokemon. Poison, poison, poison! Po -po 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 poison And uh, also a Voltorb, which I do not want to see. Die, 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 die. Or you can just miss your tackle. That's even better. Ha <laughs> ha! I love it. Anyways, this guy, as you saw before his little introduction, is um, actually guarding some uh, fossils. And, um, yeah, I didn't take too kindly to him telling me to get away. So I'm just gonna kill his coughing, a poison type Pokemon. Also, similar to Grimer in that it's physically defensive. But, you know, two quick attacks from Hope. The tank, the champion! And it's dead. And for defeating the super nerd, we, he'll share one of his fossils with us. Um, the fossils aren't that important right now, but later on we can exchange it for something else. So you have a choice between the dome fossil and the helix fossil. Um, usually I go for the helix fossil, but I think I'm just going for the dome fossil this time. It doesn't really matter because I'm not going to gain too much from it. And as you can see, you can't take the other one as he takes it. Which kind of sucks, because, you know, you just beat him in a battle. You think you'd be able to just, just grab it from him and be like, No, it's mine! I'll use my Pokemon to beat you up. Mwah! Anyways, we're almost at the exit for Mount Moon. 
And we have a antidote, which is, you know, useful. Just make our way out. Da 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 da! We are now on Route 4. This uh, route links Mount Moon to Cerulean City. Uh, over here we have two Karate Masters which can teach Mega Punch and Mega Kick to Pokemon. You can only learn the move once, so I'm going to uh, save it for later, just because I don't think... No, I know for a fact Hope can't learn it, and I don't have any other Pokemon. Um, over here we have Team 5, which contains Roar. That's pretty much like Whirlwind, and that it makes your po uh, the opponent's Pokemon switch out or run away. Um, if you jump down here, we'll fight a random Pokemon. And we found ourselves a Mankey! Oh yeah, baby! This is exactly what I wanted to see. Um, it's level 12 too, so I don't know if I should try doing some damage to it. I'm probably going to regret this, but I'm going to try. Oh, thank god. So as you can see, Mankey is a fighting type move. I mentioned it before that you can catch it um, left of Rain City. Uh, I kind of really wanted one. It would have been huge to have against uh, Brock. But uh, you know what? If I can catch it now, I'll be pretty happy. Yes! I got myself a Mankey! A female Mankey too. Alright. Mankey, the monkey Pokemon. Alright, what should I name my Mankey? Um, I think I'm going to name it Dixie, after Dixie Kong from the Donkey Kong Country series. I think that's an appropriate name. Alright, I finally have a second Pokemon worthy of my team. And of course I come into a random fight with a Spearow. Um, Spearow is not that bad of a flying type Pokemon, but since I already have hope, um, the type is kind of redundant. Anyways, if we continue onwards... Oh, yeah! Mankey, 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 Mankey! Woo! I love my Mankey! Uh, we make our way to Cerulean City, which is home to Misty, the leader of the second gym. Um, which we might encounter in the next episode of Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red. Until next time, folks, I'm Paper Napkin.